happy. I was just out. There it is. You've broken 600. Six twenty-six. Heck yeah. We just hit the six twenties. This is awesome news. This is already a little bit above my expectations. Six thirty-one. Six thirty-one. That's good. I, I guessed before this and said like six. 15, but I was being really conservative. Well, you're peaking at 21 pounds. Which... open throttle pull today guys um it's still wet outside i don't want to risk that so we made 630 horsepower at the wheels we made almost 600 foot pounds of torque which is insane and there are no problems with the car there are no problems i am very very happy right now i am a very happy boy yeah so that's all the uh, idle that i'm getting it's idling it like that I guess we're kind of uh, Do we need to check our vacuum leak? I don't, I don't know. Very not normal. So we're... Yeah, dog. I don't, I don't know how to look for a vacuum leak, but... Probably gonna have to call someone because I am not I'm not good at finding vacuum leaks. So I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, checked fuel pressure. Fuel pressure is good at 40 PSI. I don't see any vacuum leaks. We're not running hot. Um, doesn't seem like there are any really bad fatal errors, so that is really, really good. So I am still very happy and optimistic. I'm just going to wait for people to get here and help me troubleshoot. Um, Schrader's going to be here soon. A couple of friends are going to be here probably at, at some point to help me try to troubleshoot this. So I don't know if you guys remember the video where me and David Patterson and all those guys kind of like figured out my car together. So I'm 
I laughed at this. I'm not really bothered by it. It is kind of funny, but it's like content, I, I guess. We're all hiding. <laughs> we got the squad here. <laughs> we got Trader. Uh, so far, I'm, we're thinking that it is uh, the mass air meter, and I'm kind of hoping that it is, because if it's not, then I don't know what it is. I'll have to take it somewhere and troubleshoot again. I'm kind of, kind of ready to just drive it. I thought, I, <laughs> oh yeah, I thought we were going to be able to drive it, but hopefully that's what it is. We can drive it home. We can order another one of those. And then we're good. So we're putting a stock mass airflow sensor tune back on it, and we're going to see if it starts. Hmm. Give me all of your faith energy, whatever it is that you do. It's going, it's going. I'm just, I feel like everyone's ready just for it to run because every time it's about done, something happens. Seemingly, this could be the answer to all of my problems right now. Let me explain. First of all, before I explain anything, I just want to thank Schrader for coming out and helping me. The man literally drove out to help me to make sure that, that I made it home. I really appreciate that. That's something that he didn't have to do. That's something that, that he did, and I appreciate it. That is something that only a really, really, really good person, not just, not just a good businessman, but a good person would do. He could have just went home and said, hey, it's not my problem anymore, I already tuned it, whatever happens after or whatever, but he didn't do that, he came out and helped me. Wasn't his fault, wasn't his problem, but he helped me anyways. Awesome, thank you my dude. So we checked for vacuum leaks, we checked for lower fuel pressure, which would have been really scary if my fuel pressure was lower. Fuel pressure was sitting right at 40 PSI, no vacuum leaks, nothing that I could find, and then finally, we unplugged the mass airflow little, little plug. We unplugged it and then all of a sudden it started up just fine. So what we ended up doing was, well Schrader did it. He had the tool, I don't have any tools in the curb, but he had some screwdrivers and stuff. We took off the BA3000 and we put back on my stock mass air meter and drove the car home with that with like a little bass tune just to get the car home. I, we, we, we flashed a new little tune on my X4. Luckily we got the X4. If, I, if we wouldn't have had the X4, I probably would not have made it home. So I guess that's why I bought that. I didn't even know why I bought it. I thought that I might need it and it came in handy. It got me home with a tune from Schrader, a bass tune to drive home. So I didn't know that you could just clean mass air sensors. So I went ahead and bought a new one for $230. <laughs> And then I was told by Blue today that, hey, you might actually be able to just clean yours. It might actually be fine. So we're going we're gonna to try to clean the mass air meter today, put it back on, change the tune back. We're going to have to figure that out. I'll have to find that. I've never changed a tune before. So hopefully the tune is just easy to find in the X4. I'm a noob when it comes to this stuff. So we will see. If so, we might actually get some pulls today, some full throttle pulls. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to um, get my hopes up about it, but it's either dirty or broke. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance that, that it is just dirty. So if you're wondering what it looks like, Big Air SCT 3000. It's, it's a little dirty. It's, it's obviously lightly used, but as far as I know or knew, these don't really go out very often. This solves the problem that this could potentially be creating and then the car starts right up and then we're able to go and do some pulls. It's a really, 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 really nice day out today. So if this works, I'm going to be really excited. If it doesn't, we'll have the new mass air meter like probably Wednesday of next week. So that little metal piece in there is what we need to spray off. That little thing may be dirty, yeah, we just gotta clean just the tip. Ugh. Ugh. Turn key off. Sounds like a bomb going off. And guys, we've got ECU downloading tune. This is cool. This is the first time I've loaded a tune myself. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like rendering a video. I don't know if this is gonna fix it. Um, it it could be 
a dirty mass airflow. It could be dirty or it could be broke. I guess this is going to tell us if it was dirty. If it was dirty, then it should fire right now in a, in a minute. I, I'm, I'm hoping that's what it is. But if it's not dirty, then we're just going to have to wait for the for the for the next one to come in. And I, I'm more so dreading having to take that off again um, than anything, because that was not fun. But 56, 57. It's going pretty quick. The tune has been programmed successfully to vehicle turnkey off. So it should be programmed now. I think it will work. What do you think? Guess it was broken. I'm guessing. I mean, that's that's what it was doing before. So here's the old sensor. New sensor is in. I will say, after changing this twice, it got easier. I learned pretty quickly how to take off and put on an intake a lot faster. But it's weird. This this has this sticker on it. Maybe they don't come with the sticker, and people just maybe buy the sticker and put it on there because it looks cool, even though you're, you're not going to see it. Because like at least on my intake, it's turned down. So. Moment of truth. I don't know if this is actually going to fix it. If it does, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, uh, process of elimination. We'll move on to the next thing. Oh, man. I'm nervous about it. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I've just been through so much so so far. What do you guys think? Is it, is it going to work? I'm kind of. I don't really feel anything. I feel like in the middle. So first of all, I want to say thank you to Schrader for giving me a startup tune, helping me put on my stock mass air meter and helping me to get home because otherwise I probably would have been stranded at vitamin shop. Also, I want to thank my friend Dustin for following me home because I might have had an issue on the way home and you know, getting, getting stuck on the side of the road is not fun. It's happened to me quite a few times. So thank you to Dustin and thank you to Schrader. You guys were awesome the day that my mass air meter went out. The second thing that I want to say is not all used parts are bad, but I will say in my experience, I've gotten quite a few used parts lately and more than half of them have been bad. So in the future, I'm probably going to try to stay away from buying smaller used parts, especially if like the difference between used and brand new is not that much difference in terms of price. Um, if you get something like long tube headers and they're used, obviously it's a big chunk of metal and the possibility of something being wrong with them is much lower as opposed to if you're getting something that has things moving inside of it and maybe it's been sitting for a couple of months to a year. So uh, yeah, in my experience, if you, if you buy smaller used parts, there's a 50 to 60% chance that they are bad. So you're really, really taking a chance. But the other thing is, I, I sell parts sometimes. Um, if you know the person that you're buying the parts from and you trust them and they say the parts are good, and then there's a good chance that you're gonna get some good usage out of these parts if you're getting them for a good deal. I'm saying this to you guys because I'm selling my Mafia, my, uh, my Mafia mass air meter adapter. I don't need it anymore. It's good for 500 horsepower. Uh, it works, it's been working for years. So if you guys want that, 100 bucks, you can have it, it is yours. Welcome to building a Terminator Cobra. It is what it is and we're working out these problems and we're gonna get the car together and it's gonna be freaking awesome when we finally do. I hope you guys stick with me until that happens. I hope you guys are able to like enjoy these videos but not only that, learn from these videos and, and apply them to your own builds in your own life. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. If you, if, if you like this video, click the like button. It helps me in the algorithm. Like that like really helps if you made it this far. I don't get a lot of likes. I'm a smaller channel. If you want to see me grow and do more stuff to the Cobra and, and make videos about it, please click that like button. It helps me out a lot. Comment if you have any questions or concerns or just want to say hey or what's up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that bell and I will see you guys next video.